Hey everyone, welcome to MuseThemes.com. My name is Steve Harris. As a designer myself, I was really excited when I heard that Adobe bought the Typekit library because I assumed that we'd be able to use the entire library directly in Muse. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened yet, so we've decided to build a widget that simplifies integration between the two. As you can see in this example here, uh, this text is Proxima Nova, which is only available in the full Typekit library, but not in the Edge web fonts or basically the library you have in Muse. So we did this 100% in Muse, and I'll show you how it works. So let me close these windows, and let's go back to Muse, and I'll delete this out so I can do it fresh. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to go to our library, or the Muse Themes library, and let's bring up our Typekit library widget. So if we scroll down to the toolbox, this is number 15, full Typekit library, and bring it out on the canvas. So when we do that, it drops a couple of blocks of text pre-styled onto our page. Now you can of course go ahead and change all of these texts to you know any color or anything you need. So let's go ahead and change it to white so it's a little more visible. And you can change the size or anything like that. But one thing important, or one thing that's very important to note here is that if you look in your paragraph styles panel, these blocks of text have paragraph styles applied to them. And the reason we did that is we need these styles to link up to Typekit. So if you're going to add multiple blocks of this text, just make sure you've applied the appropriate style. And this will make more sense when I do the full setup here on the Typekit end. So this actual code snippet at the top is where we can control the settings for our widget. And if we bring out the flyout options panel, you can see it has just a couple of simple settings. So we need to enter a Typekit ID. We need to enter the name of our heading one font, heading two font. We also need to enter the weight. And the weight in this case is defined as a number. And you can get all of this from the Typekit website. So let's jump over to Typekit and set it up on that end. So if we bring up Typekit here, this is where we can select the fonts to use in a kit. And a kit is basically just a collection of fonts that are served up for your website. So if you look on the right, it says available for, and there's web and desktop use. Let's click web use. And that's only gonna show us the fonts that have web appropriate versions available. And now we just need to select a font to actually use in Muse. So I'm going to select Proxima Nova because I've always really loved that font. So when I click Proxima, it shows us the different weights and styles, everything looks great. What I need to do now is click Use Fonts. It's a big green button in the top right. When I click that, it says Use This Family and the Desktop tab is highlighted. So this is if I was syncing them and using them in Photoshop or InDesign. But I need to click this Web button. And what this is going to allow us to do is to add a domain in which these fonts will be served up to. So. We've clicked web and now it says you need to add this to a kit. So I'm going to create a new kit. I'm going to set the kit name as, let's just call it Muse Themes Test. And so now I need to enter a domain and this is very important. You need to enter the domain name exactly as you're going to use it on the web. So in most cases, this is you know www.yoursite.com. For me, I'm going to publish up to a temporary business catalyst site. So I'm going to enter that domain in here. So we'll call this typekit muse themes onebusinesscatalystcom And I'm going to just copy that so I don't forget it. There, typekit use themes onebusinesscatalystcom Perfect. Now we click continue. Typekit goes ahead and gives you some code to embed on your site. You don't need to worry about any code in this, so just click continue. And now it's brought up this thing called the kit editor. So let me expand this a little bit and show you how it works. So basically what you do here is you add different weights and different styles of your font to be used on your site. You don't wanna add everything because what that does is it adds a lot of weight to your site and it can slow download times. So I know, for example, I just want to use the thin version, the regular version, and the bold version of my fonts. So we'll go ahead and click all those in, but if we jump back to Muse, there's one important thing we need to do first. If we bring up the Typekit options for our widget, the first box here is enter your Typekit ID. So let's Grab that from Typekit, and there's an easy place to find it. It's actually just the last seven characters on the address up here. So in this case, it's NOH2OUC. So I'm gonna copy that. You can also find it by clicking this embed code button, and it says at the bottom, if you're using a plugin or service that asks for a Typekit ID, use this, and it's the same one. So that's how you can find it. 
So just make sure you enter that in Muse and that's just going to link the kit and our widget together. Okay. So now what we need to do is you need to enter the font name and the font weight. And you may notice that these font names have dashes in them. Um, they're written in a very specific way, but you can find that really easily on your kit editor. And this is a very important button to note. It says using weights and styles in your CSS. If you click that, it brings up this pop-up and it says font family and it gives you this name and it gives you a weight. So this is the exact way you need to enter the name into our Muse widget. So let's copy Proxmanova and go back to Muse and let's just enter that in in all of these boxes. That one already has it and there. So now we're going to use Proxmanova for each of those different styles, our heading one, heading two, and the body. Okay, so now we need to worry about the weights. The weights again can be found in this little window. It says font weight and thin is 100, regular is 400, bold is 700, etc. So we can go back to Muse already and we can enter those weights in. So for heading one, I want it to be nice and thin. I'm going to use 100. For heading two, I want it to be super bold, so we'll use 700. And for the body text weight, I want it to be regular, and that was 400. So that's it. That's all the setup you need to do in Muse. So before you go ahead and publish this up, there's one other thing you need to do. And that's you need to publish the actual Typekit library up to the web. So you can see here it says on the bottom right, publish. Changes won't be live on your site until you publish them. Okay, that's great, but there's one thing we need to do here, and that's we need to make sure that whatever styles we've used are actually checked off on the left side. So I've used bold, I've used regular, and I used thin. That's it. So you just want to check the three you're using, or you're going to end up with a really heavy site. And this says kit side is 69K, one font, one selector. Looks great. So if we publish that up, it's going to publish up our kit to the web, and now we can publish our Business Catalyst site and see where it is. Um, let's go back into Muse and publish this up. So if I click Publish, I'm going to publish it up to a new site, and that's what it's called, and we click OK. So it's going to create that temporary site based on that domain, publish it up to the web, and let's see if our fonts are served up. And there you go, that's it. So this is actually Proxima Thin, Proxima or Bold, and Proxima Regular. And you can see that in Muse, it's using Arial right now. So you can actually change this in Muse and it's going to be you know, overwritten on the web, but it's helpful often if you're using, say, a condensed font or something that's very narrow, to actually pick a font here in Muse. So it gives you a better idea of sizing. So if I up this a little bit to, let's say, 60 and let's change this to be all caps and we'll up that size to 40. I'll publish it up again and show you what it looks like. Okay, let's click publish. And there you go, that's it. So I think it looks great. I've always loved Proxima, but this really unlocks that full Typekit library for you and allows you to integrate it in Muse really quickly and really easily. Let us know if you have any questions or issues with this widget and enjoy. Cheers.